Today I'll show you how you can print your database pages in a picture or a PDF format. I mean, sure, you can share your pages if you wish. I teach you all of the details and options in lessons 19 and 20 of my Rome Masterclass. But printing to PDF or to a picture is not currently built into Rome as an option. So that's why we're going to install a Chrome extension to accomplish this. Personally, I use Vivaldi as a browser, so any browser that is compatible with Chrome, like Vivaldi is, will work. Let's get to work. So the very first thing is to go to the webpage gofullpage.com. I will leave you a link in the video description below with everything else. And we get the extension by just clicking here. The Chrome Web Store opens. We just click here, add to Chrome, add extension, and it's done. You will get a little icon page here on the next to the bar. You don't see it. Uh, you don't see it now, but you basically get this little camera up on the right, and just clicking it will allow you to capture any page. Let's try that. Now, just as a reminder, I'm doing this through my browser. I actually use uh, the Roam app, but for these videos, I prefer to use the browser. And this feature is only available through your web browser. Now, the second thing is that you have to find a page in your database that you want to share. For me, as an unpublished aspiring writer, someday to be sitting in an airport next to Brown, Follett and Patterson, case use would be sharing parts of my novel. For example, for example chapter one, welcome. That's right. Well, that's not a very good chapter because basically it's very small. Let's find something, something larger. Yes, that's more like it. So this is quite long, as you can see. Let's share it as a PDF. What you do is click that little camera icon we talked about before. And then the screen capture is in progress. You can see how it moves the page to capture it. And here we go. Now in this case, you see it got the gray bar here on the left. I don't love that. So I'm actually going to repeat the process. Let's get back here. Let's get rid of this like that. And let's try again. Press the button. And this is more like it. Another thing that you could do, again, I'm so sorry, I didn't expect this to happen, is, hey, this is quite narrow, right? So let's just go up here and make it wider. That's too wide. Maybe large is good. Mm, too much. Medium. Yeah, that's perfect. And now this is a PDF that I like. Up here, you get uh, several options as a PDF, as an image. Uh, apparently it has uh, other features we're not gonna get into them we'll just download here allow and it's done let's take a look at it all right so my case use uh, in here is to share my my chapter so what I could do here is just add the PDF as a file and done and so I have my chapter here in, in Roblox and down here, I know I have the chapter that I can always download in PDF, print, etc., etc. So that's it. I hope you find it useful. So that's it. If you like this little video and would like to keep on learning, consider taking my newbie to advanced user masterclass. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to buy me a coffee for it, feel free to do it here. The link with everything else that we talked about in this video, code, links, etc., is in the description below. Have a nice day.